So today's video, we're going to focus on five shoe essentials for every woman's wardrobe. Five shoe types that you need in your wardrobe to help you put your outfits together. And I'm going to start off with our basic flat. Now this I bought from Payless. This is just your basic cami. Most females have this type of shoe. But I want to talk specifically about the pointed toe right here. Type of shoe complements most outfits and looks good on almost everyone that I've seen it on. Um, I don't really like rounded toe shoes. I think they look very childish. So for me, it has to be a pointed toe. Now with shoes like this, you want to get them in the basic shades. So we're looking at black, brown and nude. Those are the colors that basically goes, up, goes with most of our outfits, right? So I definitely recommend this. This is from Payless. So that's the second type of shoe that every woman should own is your basic pump. Now I have mine in black and in nude. These are just essentials to have. If you're a working woman, if you are a business woman, these shoes are perfect for business meetings. These are also good for the casual girl, you know, um, and these come come in a variety of colors for me I just prefer the black and the nude because I do wear these to work you know um, I'm professional settings I don't really wear shoes like these out but I will say that these are so comfortable like I can go to work in these and I can wear them for the entire day the heel height is about I want to say it's about four inches so it's not that bad but if you are a person that can't handle this height of heel they do sell shoes with shorter heels these are from Payless and these are the Christian Serrano brand these are just perfect to have in your wardrobe they go a lot they go so well with so many outfits these you can wear with your lighter color clothing or if you just if you have like bright color clothing and you just don't want to like go all over the shoes you just want to tone it down you wear this with a nice nude bag it looks so good you look so well put you look so put together and you look more expensive like you look like you put some thought into dressing these now i wear these with my jacket suits you know when when i mean business i wear my black pumps because these are just so hardcore yet so ladylike and classic a classic black pump is always a way to go the next style of shoe number three i'd recommend every woman to own is a metallic pair now it doesn't matter what style it is as long as it is comfortable for you my metallic pair and i think this is the only metallic pair that i own a silver shoe it's by nanette lapore i got this at burlington and these are just your classic flats um i remember years ago these came out with the elastic um band straps at the back this is just a modern twist with the metallic finish and the whole prospect straps at the back as you know prospect heels prospect strap um shoes are in are in trend now they're in, they're on trend and they're in style so this is just a spin on all of that and at the bottom i love this little detailing like things like these just the heel the style of the heel is almost like a little step um the strap everything about the shoe just it's just me it just screams me i like things that are unique i don't want to wear anything that i'm going to see someone else in so this for me is definitely one of my favorites because it is unique um here is a bit it, it's pointed more pointed than my other pointed toe shoe so it's very long so it gives you like that classic 90s not 90s give you that classic 80s um pointed toe type of feel and i just love that classic style i think this is so chic and so ladylike and just so you know it's, it's just so different, so unique. I love these. The fourth pair of shoes that you want is a statement heel. And when I say statement heel, it can either be the finish or it can be the color. Now, if it is related to a color, we're talking about a shoe that is bright, like a bright red, a bright orange, a bright a neon yellow. Those are statement shoes. Those shoes scream at you. You understand? Those shoes enter the room before anyone sees you, they see the shoe or it can be the finish in terms of can be the um the finish of the shoe so maybe the shoe has on spikes maybe the shoe is like an animal print maybe the shoe has on fur you know any statement shoe for me 
it would be this one i have quite a few of them but i'm sticking to this simple one it's a simple strap heel i think everyone knows this style of shoe it was very popular in 2018 and i decided to get me a red pair now the fifth and final pair is a boot this is a sock boot and i got this from sammy's shoe store um this i wanted this for so long and when i went into sammy's and saw it i knew i had to get it again the pointed toe feature here the clear heel i just love this and i think that this goes so well with so many things the clear heel at the back does something for the shoe itself i can wear this with almost anything and this heel alone will just complement my outfit there is something that a clear heel does that a wooden heel doesn't. That a black heel doesn't. If this was all black, it would just be plain and boring. But this little detail is so interesting to me. I like shoes with interesting details. And I just love this little clear heel. Don't let the black heel fool you though. This is a 5 inch heel and it could be higher than that. It is not the most comfortable shoe in the world. But it's, it's okay. For, for a heel boot, it's okay. Um, you can get a couple hours out of it. Good good amount of hours. If you're going somewhere for like 3 4 hours, you're going to be on your foot. This is okay. But any longer than that, you're going to be tired because, well, for me, it's just too high right here. But this, a sock shoe, a sock booty or any type of boot, whether it be a high, um, not a high waisted, what am I saying? Whether it be a knee high boot or an ankle boot, any boot at all, I have several booties, but this is my favorite. And I love the suede finish, I love the zipper at the side, I love that the zipper is black. You know, there's nothing to distract from me here. This is, this is just such an amazing shoe. Um, and I just feel like every woman deserves a pair of boots. This is an addition to the statement heel. This one is my all-time favorite. I got this at Burlington and I fell in love when I saw Sorry about that. I fell in love with this when I saw the heel. This to me was just where I had to draw the line. I was like, I have to get that shoe. If this is by Betty Johnson and I got this at Burlington. I love the holographic um strap right here. I love this little detail. All her shoes has this type of um, detailing on the inside, all of her shoes. I love this little strap around and just this little detail right here, the opening. I love the heel. I love this. This just screams me because I like that element of surprise. I like that element of surprise. You know, you just BAM! You understand? And you just... It's so pretty to me and... I just the colors just work so well it's so comfortable and it looks so good on I always get compliments when I wear this shoe so this is definitely one of my favorite shoes and I'm adding this to the statement shoe section um, this is the fourth type of heel that every woman has to have or fourth type of shoe every woman needs a statement shoe I feel like all of my shoes are statement shoes but definitely definitely check out Betty Johnson her brand is amazing and all her shoes she has this she has this one that has on like some daisies on it black and white tea. oh my god all her shoes are just screaming style fashion i'm here you know and i love things like that there are three things that we should look at when we're buying a shoe um comfort versatility and personality our shoes should reflect our shoes should reflect our personality. Our shoes should be versatile. When I say versatile, I mean I should be able to wear my shoe with anything. I shouldn't have a shoe that I can only wear with one outfit. Like that doesn't work. We don't get value for money when we buy shoes like that that we only can wear once or wear with a particular outfit, you know. And we should always buy shoes that are comfortable. At the end of the day, you know, we're spending money and we need to be able to wear our money. We don't want to wear a shoe in May and when we go back to it in August, the heel just drop off. I mean, the heel just fall right off the shoe and leave you and piece of shoe one side. Like, that makes no sense. Um, 2020 is the year of saving and I just feel like we should look at things like that now. Let's not run down the trends too much. 
trends are good you know but let's be smart about it are you the type of person that goes out often if you are not gonna go out often you don't need 40 pairs of shoes they're just gonna stay there and rotten down um and you probably have to give them away or sell them later on so let's be smart we are spending and let's buy the essentials the shoes that i spoke about earlier those are five types of shoes types of shoes that we can have to wear with our outfits that will elevate our style that are comfortable that are everyday wear i will go with almost every outfit that we own and we go right additional pairs are a plus but those if you have those five basics you're good to go as usual thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye